From the beautiful island of Tobago comes the radical voice of power, Bishop Roel Reed of the Mount Grace Open Bible Church. Sunday morning worship service at Mount Grace is at 8 a.m. Patient Sale Open Bible Sundays at 8 a.m. Roxborough Open Bible Sundays at 9 a.m. Castaro Open Bible Sundays at 10 a.m. Junior Church at 8 a.m. Sunday Youth Service at 6 p.m. Tuesdays Healing and Deliverance Service. Wednesdays Prayer Meeting and Bible Study. Fridays Hour of Power. We also provide a daycare and kindergarten school service from Monday to Friday. Office hours Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. For counseling and prayer, call 639-6403 or email us at mountgraceopenbible at gmail.com. God bless you and our doors are open wide to welcome one and all.
our God. There is no one else like you. Let the nations declare that you have done great things. Sing mighty. mighty you, are. you are so mighty. Mighty you are. You are so holy. Mercy and your mercy and your forever. Righteous you are. You are so righteous. Great you are. Great you are. Oh Lord. If you have your Bible, turn with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 7, and I want to read verse 13 and 14. Enter you in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate. And broad is the way or the road that leads or leadeth, as the King James has it there, to where? Destruction. And many there be which go in. Many, you know. Not few, but many will go that way. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way or the road which leads or leadeth unto life. My God, can you imagine this? Few. Few will go that way. Very few, and Jesus will not lie to us. Few will go that way. Few will find that way. I want to speak on the broad and the narrow roads of life this morning. The broad and the narrow roads of life. In life, there are two roads that we journey on as pilgrims. At no time we can be neutral. I don't care what you believe. But at no time you can be neutral. As a pilgrim, as a humankind, you are on one of these roads. Whether you be the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago... A teacher, a policeman, I don't care who you are. You could even be a vagrant. You are on one of these roads. You can even be a Christian. A very religious person. You are on one of these roads. Note that the broad road leads to destruction and I, I don't want to spend much time on on this broad road but the broad road leads to destruction in regard to who you are i don't care how educated you are how sophisticated you are if you are on this broad road you are going to destroy yourself and even those around you because this is what the master says he's the alpha and the omega and he said the broad road leads to destruction and let me just share some things 
I will not, I'll give you the scriptures, but I will not read the scriptures. So if you are taking notes, you can look up these scriptures. Some of the things that you will find on this broad road. One, you will find the pleasure of sin on this broad road. You're going to find the pleasure of sin to the fullest. On this broad road. Yes. You are going to enjoy all the sinful pleasure. But I want you to know that is just for a season. And sometimes we misinterpret that season as preachers. We think that season is just for a short time. Nothing could be further from the truth. Jesus was talking here. Or the scripture rather. Give us the ultimate. And he speaks of the season of this fallen time. This fallen generation. And if we emphasize that to people, I believe a lot of people will turn to God. It's not just for a little season as we think um, that season is within the circle of time. He's talking here about something more than that. The pleasures of sin just for a season. That is just for this fallen time that you have here. Apart from that, when you step into eternity... And that is eternal damnation. There is no pleasure in hell. No pleasure in hell whatsoever. No pleasure is in hell. So it is beyond this time here. Next you will find... The absolute rights to have your own way. The absolute rights to have your own way. Are we seeing that today? Everybody wants to have their own way. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof, what? If you know people today, my rights, that my rights. We don't even respect or reverence God again. Children don't even reverence their parents anymore. Mommy, that's my right. You can't tell me what to do on the job, the same thing. You are employed and you are employed to work. But they will say, this is my right to stand up and idle. You can't tell them nothing. You call somebody, you give them a job. They come in late, you talk to them. My rights. On this road, yes, you have the absolute rights to have your own way, but it leads to destruction. Next. Total spiritual and moral darkness. Total spiritual and moral darkness. There is no safety on this journey. As long as you are on this road, it is total spiritual and moral darkness. Even your very conscience will be corrupted. You do as you please. It, it's, 
it will amaze you what people does on this road the men will leave the natural use of the women men will with men burning in their lust one for another because it is total spiritual and moral darkness as i said i don't want to spend much time on this next you will find religious stupidity you will worship this rag as your god imagine i worshiping this rag as my god bowing down into this look what i can do with it religious stupidity and it does not matter how educated you are as long as you are on this road you will fulfill that religious stupidity and let me just give you some scriptures you can mark um take these scriptures down hebrews chapter 11 verse 23 to 26 proverbs 14 verse 12 proverbs 16 verse 25 let me repeat hebrews chapter 11 verse 23 to 26 proverbs 14 verse 12 proverbs 16 verse 25 john 10 10 where christ said the thief cometh not but to steal to kill and to destroy but i am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly i want to let you know this morning satan is the creator of this broad road he will and has given you all the freedom that you need just for your soul to be destroyed with his i don't care who you are i don't care how sophisticated how educated you are if you are on this road it leads to destruction you shall be destroyed everything that you are everything that you have will amount to nothing you will be absolutely nothing in hell you think that you are somebody as long as you're on that road lift your chest hit it hard as long as you are on this broad road you are heading for total destruction with the evil one every nation that is on this road will be destroyed so he is the leader of this broad road he creates it it was never in the mind of god god has not create this road for mankind satan is the one that brought this broad road to the earth because he rebelled against god and cause one third of the angels to be cast out and to be destroyed many of them are in chains of darkness preserve for the day of reckoning so i urge you to repent and get off this road get off this road the streets and the narrow road the streets 
and the narrow roads. You know, many times, when we look at what Jesus said there, enter in ye at the straight gate. We think that this is a very difficult road. I myself I preach on this and present this road as a very difficult road. But God drop into my spirit he said son i want you to preach on this and then he gave me a revelation on this broad road and the street road i never thought that this road has so many blessings the blessings and the prosperity on this road will surprise many Christians. We think that, oh, it's a straight and a narrow road. So it's a road of frustration. It's a hard road. No. Because Jesus is the creator he is this road how it will be frustrated many preachers have preached this road as a hard road and we have not fully explained that broad road you see where that broad road leads The broad road leads to hell. But this narrow road, bless God, has many blessings. The Lord started to show me things about this road. I said, my God. Let me give you some of the things on these roads. And I have to give you scripture to convince you. Because we have, have been programmed by preachers to think that this road is a hard road. And we ourselves think that is a hard, frustrating road. The way of the transgressors are what? That's why as you grow with the Lord in your spiritual growth he will open your eyes you know as a growth is very important eh? i have three children and i watch how they grow i have some grandchildren and i'm watching how they are growing growth is very important you can be in church and you're not growing you can be a minister and you're not growing. Growth brings what? Knowledge with it. It brings what? Understanding. You start to see things different as you, you, you start to grow. If you're not growing, you know, you will always cry for the bottle. You'll always want to be treated as a child, not as a man or a woman. And as Christians, we must grow. When you are growing, you appreciate the things of God greater. When you are growing, you enjoy the things of God. Psalms 32, verse 7 and 8. You 
or thou art my hiding place, my God. On this road, you are hidden in Christ and God. On this road, you are the untouchables. And that wicked one touches you not. Because God is your hiding place. Oh my Lord, I feel like jumping. You are my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from troubles. Glory to God. Hey. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. On this road you will have a praise. On this road you will have a shout. On this road, glory is in your soul. This road is not a frustrated road. This road is not a frustrated road. You are hidden. You have a song. And it's a song of deliverance. You are preserved from troubles. Oh my God. You will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eyes. Say in this road I'm safe. I ain't worrying about a thing. I am not worried about a thing because he instructs. He teaches. And he said, I'm going to guide you with my eyes. So I do not have a problem on this road. You do not have a problem. All you need is faith in him. All you need is confident in him. He will guide you. He will guide you. He will teach you and instruct you what to do. What not to do. And he will preserve you. So on this road you are safe. You are safe. So all I have to do on this road is to obey his instructions. All I have to do on this road is to let the Holy Spirit guide me. When he comes, he shall guide you into all truth. All I have to do in this road, on this road, is to let him preserve me. And hear me. He will preserve every part of your being. He will preserve your mind. He will preserve your spirit. He will preserve your body. He will preserve your soul. Everything about you, he will preserve. Oh my God, open our eyes. Look at the next verse. And this one is so powerful. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The steps of a good man. Because the righteous is on this road. And God will order the steps of righteous people. The steps of a righteous person are ordered by the Lord. And he delights, oh my God, in his way. 
This is no frustrated road. Sometimes the devil can use us preachers to, you know. Yeah, the devil can give you revelation. And you think it's God. You can do that. Look at this part. So on this road, I am safe. I am so safe on this road. You are so safe. Do you fall? Glory to God. You will stay down? Oh my God. Jesus will pick me up. He will pick you up. Your Lord will pick you up with love. Come my daughter, get up. Come my son, get up. Hey, glory to God. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. Glory to God. For who? The Lord, not the church, not the preacher, not them. For the Lord will uphold him. Uphold it. Upholds him. With what? So what are you worrying about? Where are you worrying about? Just stay on the road. Sometimes Satan tries to get into this road and break your foot. Jesus can fix it back. Sometimes he try on this road to see if he could damage you. Because he bowling you know, when the sons of God gather in the presence of God, he came in there. God say, hey, What are you doing here? That bagash bowl. Hear what the psalmist said. You have prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemy. That guy is a lawless guy. But provision has been made. The Lord will uphold you with his hand. His mighty right hand. He will uphold you with the right hand of his righteousness. He will pick you up. That's why it is important that you stay on the narrow road. I don't care how frustrated, how things are. Stay on the road. Stay in church. Stay in the company of the saints. Don't allow the enemy to pressure you so much that he takes you out of the road. Because he's doing that these days. A lot of Christians are frustrated. They stop coming to church. They stop going to church. They stop reading the Bible. And some of them have jumped off the road. Stay on the road. Stay on the road. The Lord is going to take you through. 84. Psalms 84 and verse... 11 for the Lord God not the church not the pastor for the Lord God is a son and shield the Lord will give grace and glory no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly just keep on walking on this road. You will get that wife. He that finds a wife finds a good thing. But really is a good. You're going to find everything you need on this road. God is going to give you. He said, no good thing will he withhold 
from them that walk uprightly. It's going to come to you. God will give it to you in his fullness of time. Believe me, you're going to get that house, your own house, in the fullness of time. I remember a pastor came by us. And my wife said to them, the pastor and his wife, Oh, look, I get all the house just now. I think within about a month, about a month or two months, because the pastor is my good friend, call me and tell me they get a house to buy. And I went in the house myself and Pastor Gary. Nice house, you know. Nice house. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Because righteous people are on this road. Whatever your needs are, he's going to grant you your need. Paul said, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. Young people, stay on this road. I got saved 19 going on 20. And I stayed on this road. And I can tell you by experience, God will give you what you need in the fullness of his time. As long as you stay on this road, God will not withhold anything from you. After a time, you will you'll be so convinced that you are living by the grace of God, by the divine favor of God. In other words, life will become easy. Because on this road, don't let nobody fool you. It's some of us preachers that mess up your mind. If you read the scripture good, on this road, there are pleasures forevermore. At his right hand, in his presence, there are what? Jesus is on this road. You'll have joy on this road. See, Satan will have us to believe that on this road. It's very frustrating. I know Christ didn't lie to us. He said, in the world you'll have a tribulation, but be of good. I have what? Stay on the road. Stay, stay, stay on the road. Is those that stayed on the road will have good things from the Lord. The psalmist said, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall behold the goodness of God. Stay, 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 stay on the road. Stay on the road. And I believe with all my heart as I look deep into this um, narrow road, the straight road, Christ looks beyond the circles of time here. And he looks straight into eternity when he shall come. And the meek shall inherit the earth. And when you look at the circles of time, you, you are just a passing through, you know, in comparison to eternity, you know. You're just a passing through. Some humans born dead. You came out the womb, dead. Some just live for some months. 
But what about eternity? So this row there is beyond the circles of time into eternity. I don't know what sometimes I just ask myself why Christians giving up. And some Christians are in churches where they are well taught. Why Christians giving up? And that has only happened when you are not doing your homework as a Christian. You're not reading the Bible. You're not praying. You have no devotional life. All the people on the broad road will end up in destruction. On this road, you will be forgiven. God will subdue your iniquities. In other words, you will be helped. And hear what he says. He will cast all or some. Where? Where are worrying about in this room? In regard to the struggles that you are going through, Beat the struggle of sin. Stay on the road. The Lord will help you. Yeah. And when God casts your sins in the depths of the sea, don't pick it up. Don't let nobody make you pick it up. Because our God is a forgiving God. And I believe that is why a lot of Christians are struggling. They don't believe that. David said, When he commit adultery, kill one of his trusted generals or soldiers rather. That is a real wicked thing, eh? Take the man wife and then kill the man. Order his general to put the man in the forefront of the battle and retreat. And Pastor Cooper have a, 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 a thing dropping my spirit to preach on that, you know. That's how God has given me some powerful messages. Drop that in my spirit. That's what the church is doing today. Some people in the forefront of the battle and the church doing that and leave them to fall. God has dropped that in my spirit and then one day he'll just give me a revelation on it. When he dropped that in my spirit, like he shake my spirit, that's what the church has been doing. In the forefront of the battle there, maybe for years and something happened and this is the church. And I even... I shouldn't even say the church. It's the devil's people in the church. Because the real church will pray for you. The real church will help you. But the devil's people in the church say, let him die. So they watch out for them devils in the church. Eh? Watch out for them devils in the church. Says, my God. He said, send him in the forefront of the battle and retreat. Leave him alone. Let him die. But our God will subdue, trample on the foot our iniquities. So on this road, be encouraged. The Lord will help you. The Lord will clean you up. The Lord will forgive you. In spite of what? The Lord still loves you. He still loves you. And he will help you. That was... A prophetic word to Israel 
And God was saying, in spite of what, I know all you rebel against me, all your pain in my heart. God says, I'm going to do that. And we are on a better covenant. With better and greater promises. You know, I saw a lot of things on this road, you know, a lot of things on this road. A lot of things. Deuteronomy chapter 28. And we just look at two verses. On this road, you have blessings ahead of you that you know not of. You have blessings that will overtake you. Just stay on the road. In my 40 something years as a Christian, and as a minister, because I got saved today, tomorrow I start to preach. I just spend five or six weeks in church, and I go and live in the woods for a year, and was all over the place preaching. So in my 40-something years, I've seen Christians down and out struggling, and all of a sudden, God just pick them up and lift them up. Because they didn't give up. In their struggle, they were still holding on. Maybe they were saying, Oh, Jesus, help me. Help me, Jesus. Because God has already set in motion your blessings. He has already set in motion your blessings. And hear what he said in Deuteronomy chapter 28. You could get that from me on the screen, just verse 1 and 2. Now it shall come to pass. And when God said it shall come to pass, it shall come to pass. It must come to pass. Nobody can stop it. This is not the pastor saying this or the church saying this. This is God. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken or listen diligently unto the voice. This is his voice. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command you this day. Say this day. This day. That is the now day. Like this morning, like tomorrow. Every day is the now day for you. Hear what God said that he will do. That the Lord. Your God. Will set you. Note what happens there. Though, that the Lord. Thy God or your God. Will set you on high. Above all the nations. Of the earth. You'll be set. Above. All the people in your neighborhood. Some of you check. Use your mind right now and think. Use your mind right now, some of you. Because I know some of you, and it's come by some of you, are like, you're above all the people in your neighborhood. I know one guy went in a place to live. It was, that road was like hell road. As the guy get up there, go on and pave the road. That is how Christians does be blessed. As long as you stay. So I'm on the job just so you've been elevated, promoted because you're on the road. You're on the road. And God said, you know, and is the Lord are doing it, you know. Next verse. Next verse. 
and all these blessings shall come on thee and my God. Lord, help us! Man, grace, let us stay on the road that all these blessings will come and overtake us. Hey! You know what has happened to some of you? After a time, you just feel, well, hey, I have sacrificed enough. I've given enough. Hey, get off from that. You ain't seen nothing yet. Because blessing don't only come in money. Blessing come in health. I am believing God that when I'm 86, I'm moving strong just so. And I'm going to say like Caleb, I am still strong for war. Blessing comes in different forms. So don't give up. Don't give up. He said, all these blessings shall come upon you and they will overtake you. Your children will be blessed. Already we've seen this in this church, you know. There are some children here, man, they're doing fine. Like you little chamfer here, boy. Sham. Is chamfer? Eh? No, that girl daughter. She told me it's eight, um, seven old levels. Chamfer Gray. We are Peter King and all of them. Well, you see what God doing there? And I prophesied, I told you years ago, if all you stay on the road, because we have seen it in the open Bible family in Trinidad. We got people in high places because we were taught to stay on the road. Stay on the road. I ain't no time to come off. Be feeble, still stay on the road. God will renew your strength. Amen. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not what? Faint. Stay on the road. Stay on the road. Stay on the narrow road. Stay on the narrow road. I urge preacher, Mr. Preacher, stay on the road. It might be hard and tough now in your ministry, but stay on the road. Because I heard some testimonies of some preachers. They had it hard, but they stayed on the road. Ever heard the testimony of um, Bishop T.D. Jakes? People looking at Bishop Jakes now, but that man had it hard. Real, real hard. But he stayed on the road. When you stay on the road, God will lift you up. Blessings will come and overtake you. You will be so blessed that you will become a blessing. Aim to be a blessing. I want us to stay on this road so that we can bless people. And we have done that. We have gone all over the Caribbean, um, give food, clothes. Even right here in Tobago, we give out clothes and food and good clothes. We're not coming off. Turn to the person next to you and say to them, we ain't coming off. How did Tobago in the say <laughs> Sister Alicia, come here. Tell me how we just say it. <laughs> Are we not come off? Right. We're staying on the road. We're staying on this road. Because we want blessings to overtake us. We want one day the Lord will overtake us and we have our own school. I mean, our own school, secondary school. Just stay on the road at one day. We have our own hotel here in Tobago. I believe in God for that. 
Stay on the road. This you think a, a little bit blessing is enough? He said, all these blessings. I want these blessings. I don't want a blessing, but I want all these blessings. God's blessings. So they'll overtake you. Read right down. You're going to be blessing the city. Your children will be blessed. Everything around you will be blessed. You'll be so blessed that when the enemy rise up against you one way, they're fleeing seven ways. You've been viewing the ministry of the Radical Voice of Power, Bishop Roll Reed of the Mount Grace Open Bible Church. Join us again for another power-packed session. And remember, one touch from Jesus and your life will never be the same again. To obtain a copy of this message, call our office at 639-6403. God bless you.